two of the most important components in computer network is more or large, simple or complex, are DNS and DHCP. You can have the best networking equipment in the world, but without them, your network will be limited or very slow. In this video, we will install and configure a Windows Server 2016 as a domain controller, DNS, and DHCP server. Download the Windows Server 2016 ISO image from Microsoft. Run GNS3 and let it manage your VMNet interfaces by clicking on Edit, Preferences, VMware, Advanced Local Settings tab, and then click on Configure, as shown. Verify that the VMNet configuration changed to add the VMware Workstation Pro by clicking on Edit, Virtual Network Editor, and Change Settings, as shown. Install Windows Server 2016 using the template as shown. Click Next to install an application from the GNS3 server. Select Windows Server from the Guest Appliance. Click Next to install appliance on the GNS3 VM. Click Next on QMU Settings. At the Required Files screen, click Import the ISO image you downloaded or click on Download to take you to the Microsoft Download website. Once you see Ready to Install status, click Next. Click Yes to install Windows Server 2016, then click Finish. I've installed Windows Server, so I'll just cancel it. Now let's create a new project as shown. Drag the cloud to the workspace and select GNS3 VM Server to run this device. Drag Windows Server 2016 also and connect them both. Right click the server device and select Start to begin the Windows Server 2016 installation. Right click the server device again and select Console. Monitor the installation and configure the server as shown. Click Next to accept the language and other preferences and then click Install. Select the Windows Server 2016 Data Center Operating System and click Next. Enter your password and click Finished. Log in as an administrator and configure the network interface card. There's an issue with a default network card where Windows Server does not recognize the network interface driver. We added a switch as shown, replaced para virtualized network I.O. with E1000 driver and rebooted.
after reboot, Windows Server was able to recognize the new driver and then I reconfigured the network interface with static IP address 192.168.1.4, gateway 192.168.1.1, and disabled IPv6. I also renamed the server as Win16 Server 1 and then rebooted. Log in as administrator and install Active Directory Domain Services DHCP and DNS, then reboot. Log in, click on the yellow flag, and promote this server as a domain controller. Add a new forest, enter the root domain name, plaza.local, and click next. Enter the password for the directory service restore mode and click next. On the error, delegation for this DNS server cannot be created, click next. Wait for the NetBIOS name to appear and click Next. Click Next to accept the default location of Active Directory database, log files, and sysvolume. Review your selection and click Next. Click Install and Close and Reboot. After reboot, log in, click on the yellow flag, click on complete DHCP configuration, and then click on commit and close.
click on Tools and select DNS. Verify folders exist under plaza.local domain as shown indicating DNS installation is good. Create a reverse loop zone as shown. Then let's configure DHCP. Click Tools and select DHCP. Add a new scope called Plaza underscore scope. Enter the start and end IP addresses of your IP range. Click Next on DHCP option. Enter your default gateway. Click Add and click Next. Verify your domain name and DNS servers and click Next. Click Next to activate the scope now. Click Finished. Verify your time zone. Enable your remote desktop. Delete the switch, it's not needed. It was the wrong driver that caused the server not to detect the network card. Ping the default gateway for the final test.